tell you the bad news is it's the last in the series. Oh. Well done. Not rehearsed. <laughs> uh, now, what an exciting week it's been. God, it was budget time again. Do you know now, it's really, it now costs £45 to fill up an escort, mm. but it's still only 30 quid for a hand job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's all just so excessive. <laughs> All right, all right. Less of a confession tonight than a sort of showing off extravaganza. <laughs> uh, please stay standing, stay standing. If you can do something unusual with your body, concentrating very hard on you. Is that everyone? <laughs> if everyone can do it, it's probably not that unusual. That's my tip <laughs> to you. All right. Uh, I'll head over here. I'll head over here. La, la, la. Nice plan. Excuse I, excuse I. Oh, look at that. It's summer now. Time to pack it away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello, what's your Hi, name? Hi, Sash. Sash. And, and what's the unusual thing you can do with your body? Um, I can bring myself off uh, with my toes. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. That is indeed a rare gift. So how, what do you do? Are you just very loose in the hip? Um, yes. Or just very long in the cock? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, how, Both. how do you do it? Um, in the bath, on my back. <laughs> Lots of mouthwash. Could you demonstrate on the stairs here for a second? Come with me, come with me. Come with me. Right, so, sit down, sit down, sit down there. All right, so you're in the bath now. Splish, splash, I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm knocking now. I'm knocking. <laughs> Sash, Sash, what are you doing taking so long? Oh, there it is. Well done, you can do it. Fantastic. Well done, John. congratulations. And just one little thing before I say goodbye to you. Using your hand is so much easier. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Back, back to your seat there. And oh, keep an eye on him. Uh, oh, here's some more people. What's your name? Claire. Claire? Mm hmm. Do you know what's extraordinary about you, Claire? Do, do, look at your camera there now. Wouldn't you? It's Adam Rickett with bosoms. <laughs> Is that the unusual thing you can do? No. Sit down. Okay. <laughs> what's your name, sir? Alberto. Alberto. What yes. can you do, Alberto? Well, I can absorb a couple of litres of water with my bottom. <laughs> handy to have around the house, isn't he? <laughs> oh, no. How do you take a bath? It must just all disappear, aren't you? <laughs> what, what happens? Well, basically, you put more than two litres <laughs> into the bath. bath. Yes, of <laughs> And then you just concentrate and you focus. <laughs> you <just take> it. <laughs> slowly, slowly. And you just take it. And you just take it. That, and you just sit there and the water just disappears up you? Yes. It's a human funnel. <laughs> Can you siphon petrol? <laughs> but it's so expensive now. <laughs> uh, well done, you and your soaky absorbent possum. Well done, sir. <laughs> just go over here now. Oh, my Man here, what's your name? Oh, it's James. James. And what can you do, James? Uh, I can wrap my arms around my head and join them together. Is that just like that? <laughs> oh, okay, you show us. <sighs> oh! Very good. That was fantastic.
fantastic. That's really good. Mm, working your legs, you've got a career. <laughs> OK. Uh, you said, what can you do? I can bend my arm the wrong way. Oh, is that as vile as it sounds? Uh, it's not that bad. Have you, any of you seen him do this? Have you, have you seen him yeah, do it? Have, yeah. Is it that vile? It is. Should we see it? Yeah. Yes, all right. OK, OK, here we go, here we go. He's going to bend his arm the wrong way. Do it one more time, one more time, one more time. Can you do it again? Can you do it again? Keith, well done, Keith, and all the exciting people. Thank you all. Keith. <laughs> oh, fantastic. And by the way, can I just say, do stay in tune because later in the show, we'll be meeting a woman who can do something truly amazing with her body. Do you remember our Millennium show? Well, Helga's returning. Yes, she is. She's going to be back on the show. If you didn't see it, it's worth staying in for. It's very, very good. But now, look at the time and still no word for my first guest. Oh, that could be him. Hello? Oh, I don't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Richard Wilson! No, he's very, he's very happy to see you. Hello. He's very happy to see What's you. What's happened to him since I saw him last? Oh, dear. I think I think a bit of a fit. Uh, there he is. Did I say how wonderful your suit is looking? Oh, thank you very much. I, I do feel a bit like I'm appearing in Panto and Harrogate. No, no, no. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Well, you look very smart yourself. Well, <laughs> nothing you... compared to you, sir. Oh. <laughs> you should... I feel... Sinead O'Connor, you. I feel shabby. <laughs> You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Actually, I should feel shabby because there, I, it, within, with it, before I even saw you, I'd said, I don't believe it. And I'm sorry, that is the last time I will say it tonight. Are you incredibly bored of it? Uh, well, when you said... Right. Uh, <laughs> no, it was very good. Uh, I, no, it doesn't. Uh, only when people ask me to say it, and you're not going to do that. No. Now. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, you came to acting... Uh, not old, but quite late, didn't you? Quite late, yeah. 27 I went to drama school. When did you go to drama school? Uh, I went when I was 23, I think. Too young, too young. Was I too young? Yeah. Well, that's something went wrong, because I'm not <laughs> acting now, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, but I, what we did is we found out what, what you looked like when, when, when you were a young actor. And uh, here you are, uh, when you're oh, a young God leading goodness. man. L to Z. L to Z. Now, see, look. <laughs> You are so uh, handsome. Look, there's, there's Richard there. Look. <laughs> and one of those weird things, isn't it strange? Because you can't have been very old there. Uh, I was 29 there, I think. Isn't it weird that people look older then than they do now? <laughs> <laughs> no, you look very good there. And I, though, I have to say, there was just one slight little blip in your looks. Oh, goodness. When fashion Great played a cruel yeah. trick on you. There's <laughs> Richard. Uh, uh, <laughs> but you got over it quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but now, when you, when you, but then you, Victor Meldrew obviously made you incredibly successful and famous. And was fame what you wanted it to be? I suppose we all want a bit of it, don't we? Yes. If we're honest. Yes. Yeah, it's much better than being. But you've got a hell of a lot of it. Oh, well, I, I suppose, yeah. yeah. I, it's much better than being a non-entity. And, and you became a sort of sex symbol then as Victor, didn't you? Well, I still am, I like to feel. Yes. <laughs> yes, I think the news of the world voted me third sexiest man in Britain at one time. Do you remember who was number they two? They didn't laugh. They didn't laugh. No, no, of course they didn't laugh. It's true. <laughs> who was number two? I don't know. Don't care. But do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm number, number three. three. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you get sort of like... Sexy fan mail and stuff. I I do yes, uh, not not a lot. I, I do get pictures. I did get a picture uh, a request from someone. Could I send them a picture in the nude? Uh, if not in the nude, stripped to the waist, and if not stripped to the waist, just send a picture. <laughs> <laughs> so of course I sent one in the nude. Obviously. 
I went out and got it done. That's all. <laughs> uh, but no, you know that we use the internet quite a bit. I do. I've watched. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we found lots of sites, you know, because there's lots of people out there who are attracted to different things, right? Different things. And we found lots of uh, men on the internet, you know, kind of sexy men on the internet. And we've seen lots of people getting their breasts out on the internet. But we found an extraordinary site uh, this week. I, we're just going to have a quick look at it now. Uh, I didn't know this existed. Uh, this is a, a site specially for people who like big man tits. Big I, what? Big man tits. Oh, big man tits. Men's, men's yes, tits. But not like the models, not like pecs. These are like big man tits. <laughs> Doesn't sound very nice. Vile, vile. <laughs> they send in pictures of themselves because they know the people are out there who like it. Here's the first one. Come get him. Here's a man. Here he is. Oh, nice, nice thing on the wall. Nice bit of a rug on the wall. There's his head. Oh, he looks nice leaning against the wall. There he is. And there's a banana. Look at that. <laughs> But this, oh, it gets worse, it gets worse. Look at this, all right, here he is. Ooh. He's nice and, oh, nice, nice clean shave there. Oh, he's tucked his jerkin over his neck so that we can see his tits! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. You can serve them in a bun! You can serve a fried egg on those nipples. Look at the size of them. Are you them. not going to show any more, are no, you? No, 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 just that one last picture of him playing with himself. That's it. <laughs> This is dangerous, this show. <laughs> well, no, I think it's good for self-esteem. There are a lot of fat men with huge, big tits out there, and that's made them feel really well, good, and they're going nice, to find well, that It's nice now. to know that someone loves them. Exactly. See, someone for everyone. <laughs> um, but now, now, because this is the, the final show in, in the series, what we, what we thought is we'd had lots of guests on the phone uh, from the website, and uh, what we thought we'd do, we'd give you a bit of a treat lovely audience, because you can now decide which of our favourite calls we just check in with and see how they're doing. All right? Very good. Now, uh, when I say our favourite calls, I mean, of course, the people who aren't in prison now. Um, <laughs> so, we could check out and see how Fran Baskerville, the singing psychic, is doing. Do you remember Fran? Yes. She was amazingly accurate. She told us that we might be visiting Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Uncanny. <laughs> uh, or or, or we, might, we might visit the hollerers in Spivy's Corner. They're just some people in Spivy's Corner and they just shout. That's all they do. All day. That keeps them happy. Oh, and uh, we could visit uh, the Jason Priestley lookalike, uh, Genghis. And actually, we've got some new photos. We've got some new photos of Genghis. <laughs> Hello, here is my new photos. <laughs> English hasn't come on over the weeks. So, uh, basically, there are, there are your options. You've got Holleran, Fran, or Genghis. OK, so who do you think we should visit now? speak English. It's like poking it with a stick. What about the psychic? She sounds good. Do you like the idea of the psychic? I like the psychic idea. Our guest wants psychic. Oh, look, people are there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Here goes Fran. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Yeah. She's so lovely. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is <laughs> Please check the number and try your call again. Who knew that Fran wouldn't be able to pay a bill? <laughs> this is, I think I've got the right number here. But she doesn't know you're going to ring at all. But she'll know we're calling. Uh... This is 
is London calling. Oh. Okay. Okay, let me go to the room. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> what did she She's going into the bedroom, I think, I'm going to show you. <laughs> that must be where her keyboards are. Oh, hi, Fran. Where are you now? Uh, now I'm in my music room. All oh, right. I thought you said bedroom, Fran. I was just trying to... <laughs> 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 so, so now, Fran, Fran, oh, uh, this is the, the last in our series. I mean, just when we come back to you, uh, just because, you know, we, we'd like, you know, we'd li like a reading. Now, I'm here with a very famous British actor, Richard Wilson. Now, to, uh -huh. gi to give him a bit of a reading, do you need to hear some of his voice? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just say hello, Fran. Hello, Fran. How are you? It's very, very, very nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. Is that enough? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, if you could, if you could have that now uh, in your own inimitable musical style, Fran, we'd be thrilled. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, it looks as though I can see a lot of success for you. Oh, oh, yeah. And I can see a lot of popularity, too. Oh, yeah. And a lot of money coming in. <laughs> and a big trip. Oh, well. And a lot of hot loving. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fran. Take care. Bye. Richard Wilson after the break when I'll be speaking in tongues with the second guest and a host of big surprises including Helga, who can forget her, and fireworks as well. I'm not joking, there will be fireworks, so don't go away. Thank you. Thank you.